Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the legendary Lai Diagla. Of course, he's standing on the, the sidelines observing what has been going on thus far. Mr. Diagla, I know you have to be here because your heart and soul and mind is with the people of this country. What do you say about September 22nd and this march? Well, I'm here because I am very, very upset with the government forcing vaccine on people, especially children. They are going to be vaccinating 12-year-olds. And now I read in the newspaper that it's going to be reduced to 8 years old. To me, that's child abuse, it's criminal, and we have to look at it as a criminal act on the part of this government. They have um, vaccinated about 78,000 children so far and uh, the Pfizer vaccine is coming again and so on and so forth. So we have to take a stand because it's one thing to force it on people, adults, but it's another thing to force it on children. To me that's the biggest crime possible. And then now there are the working class people who will be um, fired from their job if they don't vaccinate. The working class movement must begin to organize itself. The trade union leaders must stop playing games with the government and the private sector. They must realize that this is a violation of their human rights, their constitutional rights, and they we need to begin to do something. There are protests all over the world going on in Europe and everywhere else. We need to begin to do something like I that agree, in Jamaica. I agree. Yeah. We need to begin to do I'm that. And um, this might be the beginning of what needs to be done. But more and more protests need to be organized. They're bigger and bigger. And the government must know that so we are not going to tolerate this kind of oppression. Let me ask you a question. I know you're against the, the jab in every way, shape or form. But look at what has been happening in England. Even if you're double jab and you're coming from Jamaica, you're not allowed admission. What do you say to that new development? Well, you know, it's like the countries are competing against each other now. For example, the United States says that come November, anybody going to the United States needs to have a vaccine. You can't go to America if you don't have a vaccine. So those who want to get a visa, etc., etc., they are um, doing that. Now, who knows what Jamaica is going to do in return to Americans coming into Jamaica, including Jamaicans who don't want to take the vaccine. So it's a kind of madness that is going on all over the world and they are competing with each other. But they are all trying to do one thing, force the people to get the vaccine. That's, that's what the bottom line is, forcing people. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard from Lydia Agla. It's peace, and we're here right in front of the wall theater. 876, no COVID vaccine. This is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen.
job is only for giant. No, this is giant. Yeah. I'm going to sit it. Me that, me that video, my brother, I know. I'm going to be one of it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well? Yeah, yeah. Can't go alone. What have you made, man? He was spraying someone else in the spray. I got you. 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 I